Hey, hey YouTube, this video is about shit that's been bothering me for a while now, but with the release of, uh, you know, the newest games that came out within the last week, Halo, you know, Call of Duty, uh, was it Assassin's Creed? It's just like, shit's getting too much now, and uh, if, I'm gonna explain what I mean, but just games in general right now are coming out in an abysmal state, and I don't fucking support it in any way. It's like, games shouldn't come out and be broken. Just, uh, I mean, okay, case in point, I have Halo playing in the background. When Halo works, and when it finds a match, it works great. It took me about 20 minutes to find this game, which wasn't bad. Okay, uh, it took me 20, to, 20 minutes to find this game, which wasn't bad by Halo Master Chief Collection standards, where you could wait upwards of 5 hours to find a match. I'd rather wait 20 minutes than 5 hours, I'd rather wait like 20 seconds than 20 minutes. Uh, I wish, you know, the multiplayer worked better. Halo Master Chief Collection story, mode, and uh, custom games work perfectly fine. Uh, there's no problems really there. Sometimes you have an issue connected to a friend, they just join you instead instead of you joining them. That's the solution to that. But in a game where you have to wait 5 hours to find a single match of multiplayer that'll last 10 minutes, and then you'll get kicked back to your home screen and the game will force close itself, it's a little fucking infuriating. I mean, this game had a 25 gigabyte day one patch, and the entire multiplayer was still unusable for the first three days. That shit shouldn't fly. One, before I talk about the other games, day one patches, in my opinion, shouldn't exceed like maybe two or three gigabytes. I don't know what you're patching in the game that takes 25 gigabytes to fix. If the game needs a 25 gigabyte patch on day one, the game probably shouldn't have been printed in the state it was. I'd want a game to be printed, you know, made gold, fucking finalized. I want a game to be finalized that works. A game that I put into my Xbox One and it works, no problems. Uh, I can understand, like, I can understand if matchmaking worked, but I get kicked from it occasionally because it's the first few days at launch where, you know, a lot of people are swamping the servers. Uh, waiting five hours to get into a match that has 5v3 in a 4v4 fucking game type is silly. That shit shouldn't happen. Just don't release games if they're not playable. Don't release day one updates in a game because the game should already be in a playable state if i don't have an internet connection what do i do do i just get a completely fucking broken game i mean really i mean if i don't have an internet connection i can't play these games that's it it's just why why is that the case games should be released playable on the disc i shouldn't have to download fucking 30 gigs to make my game playable and barely so at that point i mean even call of duty call of duty's fucking I don't even know what's going on with Call of Duty, because I play it and uh, it lags a little bit. You know, I, I mean, I don't mind a little lag, it's still within the first couple weeks of its launch. Uh, then it stops lagging, I'm like, oh, good. Then it kicks me from my party, and if I press the Xbox button to quit Call of Duty to restart it, it will freeze my entire console, preventing me from holding down the power button to turn off my console. I can't even hard reset my console, which is holding down the Xbox button for five seconds. I have to unplug my console from the wall because Call of Duty has frozen my console in every single aspect. The Kinect sensor doesn't recognize my voice. It freezes. I can't press the Xbox button, I can't press any button, nothing works. The controller is just like a dead brick in my hands. Don't release a game that will, one, brick my console if it doesn't work, and two, a game that doesn't work. That's it. Please, I want games to come out that work the first day. I want to play a game the first day that it comes out. I want a game to be enjoyable. Uh, Assassin's Creed is a fucking single-player game that has NPCs talking over the fucking cutscenes because they're still in the room somehow. If you haven't seen the video, it's fucking hilarious to watch, but it's super infuriating to have fake French accents that are just going, We all, oh, ooh, we all, super loud, blocking out the sound of the conversation you're having. Because Assassin's Creed is a single-player fucking game, and if I can't hear the story, then the game is completely useless to me. I want to play Assassin's Creed for the story. It looks good. That's a bonus. I like Assassin's Creed games for the story. Assassin's Creed 3 was complete garbage in my opinion. Assassin's Creed 4, I didn't even touch. Assassin's Creed Unity is a game I was really excited for, and then I find out characters are being released without fucking skin. They're just floating eyeballs and little mouths that look like fucking the Rooster Teeth logo. I mean, what, what happens to your game where players don't have a fucking skin? Like, if you look at an NPC, it's just gonna be a set of floating eyes and a fucking comical-looking mouth. That's it. No skin whatsoever. I mean, I guess you could say that Assassin's Creed was right in saying it's hard to develop, you know, female fucking forms if all they were able to program was their eyes and mouth. Why? I understand that it's just a glitch and it happens occasionally. I know that there is actually player skins for them. Like, the NPCs that have this happen to them. But it shouldn't happen where a player's 
skin is completely invisible. I mean, Assassin's Creed, the players usually, you know, in the Assassin's Creed 2 trilogy, like Ezio's trilogy, they had weird looking teeth. I could settle for that. Weird looking teeth is fine. I get it. It's hard to make something look really realistic. And uh, now that they're, you know, getting into the Uncanny Valley, where shit just looks a little off, you can understand that. Um, I, I can't overlook a character not having skin at all, or hair, or, or, or a head, or a skull. That's the point where shit just gets too fucking funny for me. I mean, I know I'm going... Halo was uh, an Xbox One exclusive, Call of Duty, and Assassin's Creed are on both consoles. Uh, to give you an example of a PS4 exclusive, Drive Club. A game that was completely unusable at launch. A game that they promised a almost, you know, full game for free with PlayStation Plus, where you'd get some of the cars... Uh, you get most of the cars, but, you know, minus a car or two, minus a track or two. I would be fine with that. Then they said, we're actually going to make it a demo version because we're having trouble with, you know, finishing the full game or something like that. Or it's taking more time than we thought. I was like, okay, I can settle for a free demo of Drive Club. And if I like the demo, maybe I'll pay the 60 bucks to buy the game. Or whatever price it would be to upgrade from the free version to the full version. Uh, then they're like, oh yeah, guys, uh, we fucked up. We're not going to give you the free version at all. They had to have the fucking, like, I think it was Hideo Kojima, I can't even remember his name. The guy that's, like, in charge of fucking PlayStation say that, you know, the Drive Club thing isn't happening, even though it was promised to us. And that was one of the reasons I bought the fucking PlayStation Plus for my PS4, was to get fucking Drive Club. Because it's like, wow, I can get almost a full game for $60, and I get online for a year, and I get a shit ton of other free games. PlayStation Plus is good, but that was one of the reasons I bought it, and now I feel a little disappointed. I'm not buying Drive Club ever. I'm not giving a company that fucks up that bad my money, because I don't think they deserve to have my money. I give 343 my money because Halo is beautiful, and it works. Usually. It takes a while, but it actually works for the most part. I mean, I, I, I have to wait like three hours, but it works. That's okay, as long as the game fucking works and you keep your word. It's not like Master Chief Collection came with just fucking Halo 1. Combat Evolved, remade, and they're like, yeah, we said Halo 2, we're not doing Halo 2. We're just doing 1 and 4. It's not like they did that. They included everything they promised, it's just the multiplayer is having issues, and I can understand that a little bit, but just... It's like, if you have a game, and it has a 28 gigabyte day one update, and the game's still unusable after that point, you probably should have waited. Not just Halo, but Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty, I mean, all these games, you should have just waited. Make a game that works, I don't mind waiting a week for it, but please, make a game that works day one. That's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Uh, seriously, tell me what you think in the comments below. See ya.